we will be looking at the warm-up problems for Tuesday through Thursday. The first set we'll look at is Tuesday, 13 of October. These problems are numbers 5 through 8. We will be looking at number 6 and 8. Number 6 says 6 and 3 fourths minus 4 and 1 fifth. Okay, the first thing we will do is convert each one of these fractions, mixed numbers, into improper fractions. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. 6 and 3 fourths is, is equivalent to 27 over 4. Minus. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. 21 over 5. 4 and 1 fifth is equivalent to 21 over 5. Now when we're subtracting, we must have a common denominator. Well, the common denominator between 4 and 5 is 20. One way to find that is to simply multiply 4 times 5. So, both of these denominators will become 20. The subtraction stays the same. The question is, what did I need to multiply each one of these numbers by to get to 20? Well, 4 times 5 gives 20. So I must likewise multiply the numerator times 5. Coming off to the side for some scratch paper, 27 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13, 135. Alright, 5 times what yields 20? 5 times 4. Thus we multiply the numerator times 4. 21 times 4 is pretty easy. Multiplying both digits by 4 yields 84. Okay, now that we've attained our common denominator, we're ready to subtract. The denominator stays the same. The numerator we will simply subtract 135 minus 84. Back to my scratch paper. 5 minus 4 is 1. 3 cannot subtract from 8, so we borrow. This becomes 0. 13 minus 8, 5. 135 minus 84 is 51. We have 51 over 20. Lastly, we will reduce this improper fraction. 20 goes into 51 two whole times. 2 times 20 is 40. 51 minus that 40 is 11. 51 over 20 is equal to 2 and 11 over 20. Lastly, we need to check for reasonableness. Well, neglecting the fractional parts, the subtraction we have here is 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, 2 and 11 over 20 is certainly a reasonable answer. Next problem we will look at is number 8. Number 8 says 5 and 1 third. times 6 and 1 fifth. Okay, again I will convert these two mixed numbers to improper fractions. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. 16 over 3. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is 31. 31 over 5. Once we have converted, then we're ready to multiply. Multiplying fractions is a little bit easier than adding and subtracting. Remember, we do not need a common denominator in this case. If it is possible, we should cancel any factor in the numerator with any factor in the denominator if they are in common. Unfortunately, no factors of 3 and 5 are common with 16 and 31, so we multiply straight across. 3 times 5 is 15 in the denominator. Now multiplying 16 times 31. 
1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 for a placeholder. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry my 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Summing, 6, 9, 4. 496 is my numerator. Okay, now we should reduce 15. We'll go into 496 how many times? Back to our scratch paper. 15 into 496. 15 will not go into 4, but 15 will go into 49 three times. 3 times 15 is 45. Subtracting, 9 minus 5 is 4, bringing down the 6. Again, 15 into 46 three times. 3 times 15 will be 45. Subtracting leaves 1. This remainder we will place over the divisor of 15. So 496 divided by 15 is equal to 33 and 1 fifteenths. Lastly, we should check for reasonableness. Well, this is 5 and a little bit. This is 6 and a little bit. 5 times 6 is 30, but we expect it to be more than 30 because of these two fractional parts. To have an answer that is 33 is certainly reasonable. You are now ready to do the final two problems from Tuesday. Problems 5 and 7. 5, since it's an addition, will be like problem number 6. 7, since it's a division, will be like problem number 8. You should pause the video at this time. Next, we will be looking at Wednesday. Wednesday will be the 14th of October. For Wednesday, we'll be looking at problems 9 through 12. In 9 through 12, we have three additions and one division. I'm going to do the first addition problem. Number 9. Number 9 says 6 and 1 fifth plus 5 and 1 half. Okay, again, first we will convert each one of these mixed numbers to an improper fraction. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11. Now we must find the common denominator. Well, again, the common denominator between 5 and 2 is 10. We can always find a common denominator by simply multiplying the two denominators together. 10 and 10. 5 times what yields 10 times 2? So we will multiply the numerator by that as well. 31 times 2 will be 61. 2 times what is 10? Times 5. So, multiplying the numerator by that as well. 11 times 5 is 55. Once we have the common denominator, we're ready to sum. The denominator stays the same, 10. 61 plus 55 is 116. Now, we will ask ourselves, how many times will 10 go into 116? Division by 10 is pretty easy. I know that 10 will go into 100 10 times, into 110 11 times. So, 11 whole times. 116 minus 110 would be 6 left over. 116 divided by 10 is 11 and 6 tenths. Lastly, we checked for reasonableness. This is 6 and a little. This is 5 and a half. Well, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 and some. This is definitely reasonable. 
compared to 6 and 1 fifth plus 5 and 1 half. Next we will look at problem number 11. Eleven says two and one third divide by four and four fifths. This is still Wednesday, fourteen October. Okay. First, we will find our common denominator. Not the common denominator. Pardon me. We will convert to a mixed number. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 over 3. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24, 24 over 5. Keep this division the same at this point. All right, when we divide, we will keep, change, flip, keep. Change, flip. Keep the first term the same, 7 over 3. Change the divide to a multiply. And flip over the second fraction, the reciprocal, we say. Dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Alright, again we seek a common factor. There are none in this case, so we can multiply straight across. 7 times 5 is 35. 3 times 24 will be 72. And in this case there are no common factors. 35 over 72 is as good as we can do. This number is close to 1 half. I know that because 35 over 70 would be 1 half. And if we go back up to our original, this is 2 divide 4. We expect for this division to yield a quotient close to 1 half. This is a reasonable answer. Thursday, 16th of October. On Thursday the 16th, we will be working problems 13 through 16 I will assist you with number 13 and number 14 number 13 is a subtraction 4 and 1 half minus four and two-thirds. Well, this is a particular subtraction where the larger number is second. Four and two-thirds is slightly bigger than four and one-half, so we expect the answer to be negative. We could change the addition and change the sign of the second one, but we it will be just as easy to know that the answer should be negative. All right, we will first change to an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 over 2. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 over 3. Alright, we need a common denominator. The common denominator between 2 and 3 is 6. Two times what yields six? Three. So we must multiply the numerator by that as well. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Three times what yields six? Times two. So fourteen times two as well. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. All right. We're prepared to subtract. We have the common denominator. We keep the denominator the same. Now 
we're left with 27 minus 28. Well, the larger number is second, so the result is negative. 27 minus 28 is a negative 1. Our answer is a negative 1 sixth. Next, number 14. Okay. 3 and 1 half times 3 and 7 tenths. We will first convert to an improper fraction. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 over 2. 3 times 10 is 30, plus 7 is 37, 37 over 10. All right. When multiplying fractions, we don't need a common denominator. We can multiply straight across. If the, anything in the bottom will cancel with anything in the top, we do so. But we don't have that. 2 times 10 is 20. Now 7 times 37 come into our scratch paper. 7 times 7 is 49, carry my 4. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4, 25, 259. Question, how many times will two 20 go into 259? Well, 20 will go into 200 10 times, 220, 11, 240, 12 times, 12. 259 minus 240 is 19, 12 and 19 over 20. We'll come here to verify this division. 20 into 259. 20 into 2 won't go. 20 into 25 one time. 1 times 20 is 20. Subtracting 5, 9. 20 into 59 2 times. 2 times 20 40. Subtracting is 19. This is my remainder. It gets placed over the divisor. 12 and 19 over 20. Lastly, check for reasonableness. This is three and a half. This is closer to four. So three times almost four is twelve. Twelve and a little more than that. So this answer, twelve and nineteen over twenty, is a reasonable product for these two factors. All right, now with those two problems from Thursday, you should be able to work fifteen and sixteen.